All right, let's take a look at question number eight, um, and we're going to get this by working from the right to the left and combining resistors. So first, we have the 2 and the 8 ohm resistor together, and um, they will combine when we add them up to give us a 10 ohm resistor here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and combine them into this 10 ohm resistor here um, when I combine them in series. And I'm going to do something a little bit cosmetic here. I'm not sure if this is the best idea, but I'll go ahead and do it. So I've combined those resistors together into a 10 ohm resistor. And now I have these two resistors in parallel. Oops. So I have the 8 ohm plus 2 ohm gives me 10 ohms right there. And now I have these two in parallel. So I'm going to have the 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10, um, which gives me 2 over 10 um, for the parallel combination there. And so that means our total here, when I flip it, is going to be 5 ohms right there. So I'm going to go ahead and combine those. So that's where this 5 ohm comes from. Whoops. This may not be the smartest way to do it, but I'll try it. Because um, unfortunately, I'm a little pressed for time because I want to get the solutions for practice test 3 as well. Now we have the 1 ohm and the 5 ohm. They are in series. So we have 5 plus 1 gives us 6 ohms. So we can actually combine this into a 6 ohm resistor right here when we add in series. Um, so we can actually just wipe out that combination. And again, I'm kind of doing this because really this is something G period is responsible for. For F period, this is a bonus question. So don't worry about it too much if it's a little hard to kind of follow. And now we have these three in parallel. Um, so we're going to actually go ahead and solve those. So we're going to get 1 over, whoops, we're going to end up getting here, 1 over 12 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 is the combination of those three. So that's going to be here when we actually get this resistor. Um, I believe that ends up being 2, but let's just go ahead and do it. <clears throat> yep. So one over R total equals zero point five. So that means that R total ends up being two ohms. So we replace all of this with just this two ohm resistor here. And so our final answer ends up being 3 ohms worth of resistance. So that's question 8. Uh, this uh, is only for G period. It is a bonus question for F period. And now I'm going to move on to question number 9.